What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and you already saw the thumbnail. Let's get right to it. Links down in the description below. This is on pre-order, the Chevy Bel Air 1957 from Kyosho. So ETA, it's at least, at least 90 days out. Just gonna let you guys know about that one. So if you pre-order one, you're like, hey man, it's been like, you know, over three months. You might have to wait longer. That's just the way it is. So apologize on that one, but nothing we can do. Kyosho did move from California to Texas and they've redirected where their shipping is coming in instead of being in the port of California. Now it's in the port of Texas. So hopefully that kind of helps everything and maybe they get stuff out a little bit quicker. That's their, they're keeping their fingers crossed just as well as I am. So um, yeah, the price on this thing, $245.99 and it looks amazing. I think Kyosho did an amazing job on this one. The detail, when I saw it as of yesterday, when it got leaked accidentally or whatever by someone that did receive one of these to kind of promote. They were supposed to release it next week. And unfortunately, they let the cat out of the bag a little bit too soon. So Kyosha was like scrambling. I had called him yesterday like, hey, what's going on with this Chevy Bel Air? How much is it? And when is it coming out? And uh, they were just kind of like, oh, man. So uh, I'm sure they got a lot of phone calls as of yesterday and today. And it probably would continue. But yeah, again, 90 days out at least. So be patient with that one. We are taking pre-orders as you see as of right now. And um, yeah, it's a 110 scale, so it's all wheel drive. I know this car is rear wheel drive, but this is the way the chassis is, and that's that. So um, I don't know as far as what chassis length this is. Kyosho has two different, in their phaser line, two different chassis lengths. I don't know if by chance down the road and someone comes across this video and like, oh, that's got such and such, or if I find it, then I'll put it in there if it's the long chassis or just the standard shorter chassis. As of right now, not 100% sure. So if by chance you know it already, let us know. But this thing looks amazing. And again, I said light buckets in this car, so it does have front and rear ones, as of, I would assume. Uh, it doesn't show any pictures of it. Unfortunately, it does show, it does still have a lot of detail to it. So yeah, links down in the description below so you can check this thing out. We got a little bit of box art. We can see how the box will look when it gets shipped. At least that's the way it looks as of right now. Center caps. I mean, this little attention to detail, uh, Kyosho does an amazing job on that one. So, yeah, I was pretty impressed with this uh, center cap because usually just a little, there's a, a nut that's there and that's it. And, and it looks, it kind of takes away from the rim and the scale look of it. Again, I know as far as when it comes to the body clips and things like that, it takes away from it, but that is what it is as of right now. But as far as just a detail level of it, it's, it's amazing. And I've played different games in the past. Maybe some of you guys have played uh, PC games or whatever as far as Xbox, whatever games. and the Chevy Bel Air has been there. I've played Motor City Online to Forza Horizon 5. Chevy Bel Air is there. It's an icon. So maybe you guys have one of these cars in real life or you just love it anyway. Man, what a cool one. Like you're one to one. And I'm sure they're going to come out with, uh, you know, they'll have a clear body. So if, in case you don't like this color, let me know what you guys think about this color too. I think it looks good. I think it, it sets the the tone right as far as for that, that air and it looks great so i would be happy with just with that one uh, i do like black but i think this shows a lot more detail to it black kind of hides a lot of of the curves and everything like that and this thing's definitely got curves to it so i like it now it is a brush motor as far as it's speed wise it will do about 25 miles an hour on a lipo uh 2s only you can't run this thing on a 3s unless you want to burn up the motor and have fun but uh it's not warranted or nothing like that so um yeah and when it comes to as far as I don't have a picture of the radio. The radios are very nice. They just take four double A's. We can just kind of scroll down a little bit here. It just says requirements. So you can run this thing on a nickel metal battery. Also, you will need to, by default, these generally come LiPo ready. It's got a Dean connection as far as the power plug or T, however you want to call it. So that's that part of it. Uh, yeah, you'll need a charger. So you'll need to keep an eye on that kind of stuff if you don't have a charger. But if you want to shelf this thing, man, by all means, this thing is amazing looking. It'll look great on someone's shelf. It'd be cool if it would have came out before Christmas. You know, these things are going to be very hot. I'm sure these things are going to sell out pretty quick. So definitely like this thing. It looks great. A lot of hop-up parts for this car. Also, as far as that aluminum drive shaft, we've done it in the past where we've given power options like more power. And uh, Hobby Wing has made the system that I normally would get and put in these cars as a legacy, I'm, I know they're still manufacturing them. I don't know how for how long, 
And there is another power plant and it is more powerful and it's, I don't know how well the car will take it as far as with the drive line with the aluminum one that I usually put in the car. There are other options out there that you can use that will, it's more sturdy as far as that drive shaft. But, but anyway, that is that. And as of right now, yeah, we're just selling that as a brush system. It comes stock right out of the box. This thing's going to be amazing and uh, be on the lookout for it, but it's going to be at least 90 days out at least. If it comes early, awesome. If it doesn't, just be patient. And yeah, $245.99, not a bad deal at all for the amount of detail this thing looks. So again, let me know what you guys think about color, what you're going to do with it, if you're going to kind of do like a drag car, whatever. But definitely like to see pictures if you do purchase one of these. Tag us in your on your social media, OMGRC, you know, as far as even just on YouTube and also on Instagram. Uh, links down in the description below as far as our social media handles and stuff like that. So Again, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, check us out. You got it, omgrc.com. You guys take care. Peace.